Good morning, everybody. And sometimes when you are a runner of a small museum, um, you have to get up at about two in the morning and go on mad cat missions. And that is what I'm doing today. So I thought um, uh, the van is loaded up. I am ready to go. It is half two. I will see you shortly. Off uh, on a bit of an epic this morning. I'll catch you later. Bye. Park further down the road. Pit stop. Coffee. Dinners. Petrol. It's all part of Running Museum. Hello, dear museum followers. Well, I've driven through the night. It's about half seven now. And uh, traffic was a bit silly around Birmingham, but we're here. Well, I'm not here. I'm about an hour and a half off the destination. This is it. This is this is part of parcel of being um, a small museum. Man. You've got to do everything. You know, you just go to do everything. You draw something, tick. Uh, drive up and down the country for things, tick. Build walls, tick. Build floors, tick. You know the score. So anyway, I am now getting a little bit tired. I can't pretend. I'm now going to try and get a strong, strong, strong coffee. And on to the next bit. It is now about two o'clock in the afternoon and in the back of the van all can be revealed and in here is a classic old monster, the original surviving costume from 1976. This is Broton, being very kindly lent to me by Mike Tucker who did the restoration and he's on loan for the museum. So here you've got it first. There we go. So I'm now going to head off back to complete this little trip back to the museum. So I should be there by tea time tonight. So, in order to get this wonderful Broton into the museum for reopening, we have pulled out the display right there, which was Andrew Scaletta's artwork. Andrew Scaletta's artwork is going over to the fireplace, which will look a better place for it. And then we've created this new display stand here. And the Shimmeron and Caretaker are going to get moved to there. Then we've expanded the footprint of this display case, which will now fit the um, Broton. Broton is now in the Museum of Classic Sci-Fi. 